So tell me, how does a girl in Paris decide to become a fashion designer? What inspired you in your career? Well, first, uh, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be this talk with you today because it's, in fact, it's a première for me too. I never really did any uh, talk in the boutique, and I was very uh, uh, inspired when Trina Lombardo invited me to do this uh, at home. Then it's very, I feel very comfortable too. Um, I, in fact, when uh, as a fashion designer, it's not something that I decided to be. Because I realized that very, uh, in a very young stage, I just uh, was thinking about uh, uh, clothes, dripping, uh, uh, looking at the construction of garment from inside, outside, and uh, uh, trying to express a little bit more of who I was as a person, as a young girl growing in the, in the Alps, the French Alps. That means it's not the art of fashion, it's not growing in, in Paris neither. And it's looking uh, uh, to the world and to the fashion world with a type of a distance. And saying, I'm living there, but somehow I would love to be part of a different lifestyle. And how can I access this lifestyle? What are the right clothes to access this lifestyle? And I think I was maybe eight years old when I started really, uh, without knowing it was for me being a fashion designer, but knowing that I needed to express myself and to find a way to give uh, something to other women to look better and to feel confident yeah. every day in their life. It's a huge gift, I think. Um, and your style is so very feminine and so very powerful at the same time. How do you find that marriage? Is it a difficult one, or is it just naturally to you? When um, I start to design, I was uh, looking to women around me and saying that today, we have a lot of different roles to play. We are working women, for a big part of us. We are a, a, a wife, and we are mother. And uh, then a wardrobe for that need to address these three needs. And uh, I felt that uh, I really need to give women femininity, but strength in the meantime. And to turn this femininity into a strength and not a weakness. Because too many years, I felt that femininity was synonymous of uh, being cute, being nice, being uh, a darling, and all these for me are not the right word anymore. Right. Then I say, how oh, now I can design a wardrobe for women and making sure that when she wears a dress, she looks who she wants to be. She's able to have responsibility. She's able to uh, to be comfortable in a dress, and of course, stay feminine. Beautiful. We talked the other day a little bit before this, and you were talking to me about giving back to giving back to womankind through your clothes, kind of the philanthropy of the power and the voice of a woman. What led you to that place? I feel that the today women, because they need all this role, have a very big challenge. And it's not easy to be a woman. I'm certainly part of them because I'm working hard, of course, like a lot of you, having a, a little kid. My son is 13 years old now. He was born in New York. And uh, I'm a wife of, uh, of uh, the same man that I'm a, a, a partner with, too. That means mm -hmm. every day working with. And it's, uh, it's a lot of challenge to face all this. And um, um, then I was thinking that a lot of us today, we need to uh, think to help each other. And for me, helping women has become really something I want to be more and more involved in. Right now, I'm, a, I'm a close and for many years with Marie J. Blige, and she created a foundation named Phone. And uh, we partner on several projects together to raise uh, awareness and money. And uh, even having a lot of ideas of how together we can have a language for women to empower women in the world. As you know, she's uh, another uh, very hard worker woman, very talented. But at the same, same time, she's very conscious of what we have to achieve in this world as women to, uh, to be successful. Because for a lot of us, it's even harder than for men. Because the challenges are bigger, and we have to face all the role. And, uh, at the same time, we need a world world that is right to have all this role, that is not uh, so easy. 
And uh, that at the point of a career, when we feel that we achieve at least the first step, it's great to be able to give back and to become like inspiring for others, to make sure that, uh, because together we can achieve so many bigger things. And when women are conscious of their strengths, I think we can achieve a lot. And I will be part of the one that will give back to achieve bigger challenge. Um, I know a lot of women through history have influenced your collections, Dorothea Parker, women like this. Who are some other women, more modern women maybe, who influence your collections today? Uh, I think a lot of women are influenced in my collection because I'm, I'm designing for women. That means it could be a woman that I, I just cross in the street, you know, because the way she acts, the way she moves, she tells me something. It could be a woman on stage. And uh, Madonna has been a great inspiration because I feel she achieved so much in reinventing herself, in being a modern, being a very hard working woman, a very unique talent. Uh, women like uh, Mary J, Alicia Keys, uh, are, of course they are close to me too, but I feel them as women that have a, a lot of influence. Sometimes it's not about, I don't like the influence in fashion, but sometimes it's through words. Like I feel that uh, these women have a lot of, uh, they have a great message. Mary J, when she sings, she has a lot of words that empower you. Alicia Keys, I think, gives you a lot of sensibility, a lot of strength in your everyday love, a lot of uh, strength to fight on your everyday life to find love and to, uh, and to be uh, to stay a very sensual woman. Then uh, all these women together influence me. But at the same time, I feel in fashion, I've been always looking at, even in the past, to women's work. Because I think there's a difference between a, a woman's work to a man's work as a designer. Mm, then, um, you know, I feel like Madeleine Vionnet, that uh, was a, a French couture uh, designer, uh, have all this uh, detailing of pink tuck and cut in buyers that was always making a dress very light and uh, sensible. And of course, the work of Coco Chanel, that for me, even uh, a style, but even what was the message behind the look was very important. She wanted to give strength and empower women with a men's suit and to make sure that they were ready to, to be working women. Today, I think we are in another stage of life. And for me, taking a wardrobe for men to give it to a woman is not the answer today. Uh, I feel much more comfortable to start for a dressmaking uh, work than from a, a tailor jacket to think about women. Mm -hmm. I was